Hi my friends, welcome back. I'm going to teach you right now how the charge circuit on laptop motherboard works. So this curve basically is based of one comment of one of my followers. So let's get started. So guys, I'm going to teach you the short circuit here, theoretically, and also we're gonna see the motherboard, not just the motherboard, we're gonna see this motherboard and other motherboards. So I will make it easy for you guys. This is the only video you need to understand 100% the charge circuit and how it works. So we're gonna see the theory part and also the practical part. Okay, my friends, for the practical practical part, I'm going to teach you the component near to the battery connector, what is its purpose, how to test it, the voltage here, and the most failed component, and how to resolve charging issues, etc. But let's first see the theory parts. So basically, my friends, we have the ice in the middle. Let's name it this IC charge IC okay here basically we have the charging port in this side my friends we have the power jack or let's see the charging the charging port okay the charging port basically has many pins Let's see here connected to the ground and we have the high pin here. This high pin basically, my friends, is connected. Sometimes it could be connected to a fuse. Okay. F. Well, but sometimes it could be connected to inductor. Or sometimes we can find diode, protection diode like this. Okay, my friends. But let's see a fuse. After that, of course, we have the switch. Depending on the type of motherboard, we can find this is basically Q or switch, the first switch, or we can call it also fit. The first switch basically usually we find in channel switch. Here we have drain. Here we have source, and over here we have the gate. So for some other board, we can find just one switch, but for others, we can find basically two switches. Okay, we can find basically, my friend, two switches. The second switch here. Please pay attention. We're gonna see this here theory in the theory, and we're gonna see the motherboard also. So we have the switch basically here for end channel. Uh, as I told you, it could be the end channel used here or pay channel, but usually we use end channel. Okay. This is for the switch. The switch basically, my friend, is always connected to a current sense resistor. Okay, we call it current sense resistor or simply CSR, current sense resistor or current sensing resistor. Okay, after that, we will get what we need. So we will get here B plus, okay? This is B plus. This is the main voltage, the most important voltage that is used to power the whole motherboard, okay? Just please stay tuned. Okay. So, in this side, so here we have the power adapter. Here, basically, let's say one of the first, most component or the important component in charge circuit, this one, the charge IC. And in this side, we have what? We have basically the battery connector. Let's see like this. We have overhead the battery connector. Okay, this is bat connector or CN. 
Okay, this is the battery connector, my friends. Okay, so now we get the P plus. My friends, we're gonna see all this in the motherboard. Just stay tuned, be patient, and we're gonna see everything. After that, we need here for the charge. I see we need here two MOSFETs to basically the higher MOSFET of or high fit. Let's call it high fit this time or high MOSFET. And we need another another lower MOSFET or low fit. Okay, okay, my friends. Here basically for this one, this MOSFET, it's drain. Okay, the drain for this MOSFET is basically connected to what? Connected to always or usually we find ceramic capacitors here for filtering purposes connected to the ground and this one connected to B plus here but let's see here we have extension here we have B plus basically the same as this one and of course the source here of this one will be connected to the drain of this MOSFET okay the gate here will, will be connected to the IC okay because this is the control IC for this MOSFET the source will be connected to the ground and the gate also will be connected to the IC here we have lower here we have the higher gate good this one we have Q1, we have Q2, we have here Q3, here Q4. Nice. So guys, here of course, connected to the IC, here we need inductor coil for filtering. We need coil of course, and of course we need also a current sense, another current sense resistor for the battery, okay? Another C current sense or sensor resistor and of course we will need here some capacitors sometimes we can find of course ceramic capacitors not polarized capacitors sometimes we can find polarized capacitors and then of course we will get what my friends we will get let's make it like this we will get B or BAT, BAT plus, okay? We will get BAT plus or the voltage for the battery, okay? Good. But we need something else is the MOSFET, the battery uh, fit or MOSFET Q5. This one basically is connected to the battery, okay? It is connected, of course, to the battery here, okay? And this one basically is used, let's see here we have source, okay? And of course, we have the gate. The gate, of course, this one also is controlled by the charge IC. And this one, guys, also the drain, of this IC is also connected to this line or power line or power rail B plus because because when the adapter is removed this is the battery will feed the motherboard it will generate B plus okay and of course for the motherboard the charge IC it has many inputs and outputs and also here the most important it needs the vcc 